Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Do I sound excited? Well, it's because I am. I have found the top five free image editing programs available on the internet. Well, I think they're the top ones anyway. And the reason I'm so happy about this is because Photoshop is a paid program. Lightroom is a paid program. Affinity is a paid program. They're all great at what they do. But the programs I've found are completely free and not just that, they're brilliant. They're extremely powerful, and even in some cases, a couple of them actually really rival Photoshop and these other programs. So if you're someone which is really wanting to get photo image editing software, but you just don't have the spondoolies at the moment, and maybe you're saving for Christmas presents, maybe you've got bills, or whatever reason it is, then the good news is you can get these completely free. And I'm gonna share that with you in just a moment. Before I jump in and show you these top five free editing programs, I wanna share with you that I've actually created a course for beginner photographers. If you've just got your camera and you want to start your journey into the world of photography, but you're a bit confused and you don't know what to do, then this course is gonna be right down your street because it shows you how to master camera settings. And this is the very first place that you need to start. It shows you how to use your camera, what the settings are for, and what the features do. And because of this, it means that you'll be able to take the course and then start taking beautiful photos with your camera. So if this is something you're interested in, then check out in the description the 50% off link, which gives you a coupon, which you can use and then get this course 50% off. Okay guys, thanks for listening to that and let's jump in so I can show you the top five free editing programs available right now. In at number five is Photoscape X. This is free image editing software, which is great for beginners. You can download this on Windows 10 or on Mac. Now, just because it's good for beginners doesn't mean that it doesn't have lots of features. In fact, it's jam packed full of features. What I love most about this program is it's really easy for beginners to understand. The design's intuitive and it has a whole host of different adjustments. You can start off with basic things like colour and you can also go into things like filters. In fact, there's lots of filters on this program which you can use with your photos. But if you want to dive in a bit deeper, then you can go into the edit tab and then this takes you through to things like adjustments, which there is plenty of them. If you want to learn how to use Photoscape X, great news because on the Photoscape X website, there's a whole host of tutorials for you to check out in your own time and learn how to use it. In at number four is paint.net. This is available to download from Windows 7 or newer. This is quite easy to understand and the layout, even though it might look a little bit dated, is actually very easy to use. On the left hand side, you have the tool section and you even have a whole host of things like a layers panel which is really useful as you probably find if you'd use Photoshop. You can obviously change things like color and you've got all the header tabs at the top which give you access to different options as well. This is definitely something you should check out as it's free and it's really powerful. In at the number three spot is Krita. This is feature packed photo editing software which has significantly improved in recent years. The layout is very similar to that of Photoshop and it provides you with lots of tools on the left hand side, a layers panel and a huge selection of brushes. Now because of all these things like brushes, it's made it very popular with people who do creative image design. Now don't just take my word for this, it's actually been voted number one by TechRadar as a painting program in 2019. There's actually a learn tab at the top on the um, Creator website and you can go into tutorials and how to's to find out exactly how to use this software. It's available to download for Windows, Linux and Mac. In at the number two spot is Photopea. It's a web app so you don't need to download anything. This is so impressive. It supports Photoshop files and any other kind of file you can think of. The layout of Photopea is almost identical to that of Photoshop. In fact, at first glance, you might even mistake it for it. The setup is the same with all the tools on the left hand side and the layers and adjustments and paths and channels on the right. This is really impressive image editor and I highly recommend it. If you want to check out things like tutorials, you can do that by clicking on the Photopea website and then you can click into the tutorial section 
to learn how to use it. Taking the top spot today is GIMP. This open source image editing software should not be judged for its poor name. It's actually incredibly powerful with all the options that you will find on Photoshop. It's great for image editing, image manipulation, graphic design, artwork creation, and the list goes on. GIMP has a bit of a different layout to that of Photoshop and it can take a little bit of time to get used to, but you can learn from tutorials found on their website. When you've actually learned these tutorials, and you've got to grip with this program, you'll see how amazing it is for free software which almost rivals that of Photoshop. I hope this video has been very helpful and valuable for anyone looking for free image editing software. If it has, please give the video a thumbs up, or if you've got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comment section below. Now, if this is your first time arriving on the channel, then hit subscribe so you can watch more videos in future, and whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.